State police and the Carbon County District Attorney are now speaking out about a 44-year-old cold case. WBREWYOU Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers is live in Whitehaven near the area where the two bodies were found decades ago. In 1976, a boy was walking right over there in Eastside Borough when he found an open suitcase containing human body parts. Now in 2021, officials are finally speaking out about a break in the case. There have been over 100 state police investigators that worked this case, along, along with others that have helped us. Over 100 people working tirelessly for decades to try to figure out what happened in December of 1976 after they found three suitcases containing the remains of two people. In March 2021, a DNA data database match occurred. They were finally able to identify the woman found that day, along with her full-term fetus. This comes after a man by the name of Louis Cologne Jr. uploaded his DNA in hopes of finding his father's long-lost sibling. It was determined that Jane Doe was their sister, Evelyn Cologne. Then they had it. The Whitehaven community finally learned the name of the body that's been laying under a Beth Doe gravestone for decades. We conducted additional interviews. Uh, reviewed evidence in the case, and it eventually led us to Mr. Luis Sierra in Ozone Park, New York. Luis Sierra was Evelyn's boyfriend at the time. They were thought to have moved away together back in 1976. Her family hadn't heard from her since. Luis Sierra of Ozone Park was charged with one count of criminal homicide. Charge was filed shortly after his interview with Trooper Knoll in New York, where he was taken into custody. He is awaiting a preliminary hearing tentatively scheduled for April 28th. Tune back in tonight at 6. I'll have another live report speaking with two retired state troopers as they look back on years of working this case. Live along the Lehigh River, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News.